Now, first he won a global prize. Now Kenyan teacher Peter Tabichi has been appointed an education ambassador by the Global Fund for Education in Crisis. But what makes him stand out in his profession? Well, the BBC's Victor Kenani spent a day in the classroom to find out. An electric atmosphere to welcome a champion back home. It's the first time that Tabich is setting foot in Keriko Mixed Day Secondary School since winning the coveted Global Teacher Prize Gong barely a month ago in Dubai. Back to what he does best, in the sweltering heat of Kenya's Rift Valley, he leads his class in their work, guiding the students in designing their projects for this year's science fair. Tabichi, who trained as a teacher in Kenya, has been working for 10 years in an education system plagued by incessant strike action that often interrupts learning. He says he realized that when students were in class, conventional teaching methods failed to hold their attention and decided to employ new tricks and tech to keep them keen. I use locally acquirable materials. The other way, more than 80% of my lessons uh, normally try to integrate ICT. I guess, uh, continue here. The 36-year-old teacher is also a Franciscan brother, donates most of his income to pay school fees for needy peoples. His dedication has seen the number of graduates going to university increase from 16 in 2017 to 26 last year. And his students are in full praise of his teaching methods, which attest has changed their attitudes towards the subjects he teaches, physics and maths. He's able to create teamwork among students so that those who are weak can be assisted by those who are strong in, such, in certain subjects. His fellow in the Franciscan Catholic order praise him too. He is simple, he is um, outgoing, and he is honest. But his teaching doesn't stop in the classroom. In the local community, Peter Tabichi engages residents on how to practice sustainable agriculture through the use of drought-resistant crops to enable them produce enough food to feed themselves. He admits that his faith has played a big role in influencing his actions in and out of class. I am a Franciscan brother and we believe in uh, humility and simplicity. So everything else that I do is based on that. It's from this small remote school in Lari, in the Rift Valley, that Peter Mokaya Tabichi rose to conquer the world and win the coveted Global Teacher Prize 2019. And his actions have inspired a whole new generation of learners here that they too can achieve their dreams. Victor Kenani, BBC News, Nakuru, Kenya. And don't forget you can get in touch with me on Twitter, I'm at CKNA. That's all from the program, from me and the rest of the team. Thank you for your company.